Hi everyone, so welcome to today's class. So today we are going to discuss on the topic of transport request. Okay, so this is a very much asked question in the uh, comment section. So that's why we are taking this class on transport request. So we will be discussing about what are the transport requests, what are the details and what is the work of a SAP functional consultant. So as a functional consultant, what is your uh, work while it comes to the transport request okay so this document you will be able to see it in the um, in the website you will be able to find it okay so you can uh, so website link will be there in the you can find it in the um, description section you can find it so you can come here and you can just click on this digital product and uh, here you are having all the documents that we are uploading so here you can see transport request here this document will be related to this uh, today's uh, class so you can find it from here okay so so basically what is a transport request so transport request is basically it is a medium through which we transport we transfer the custom codes or let's say customization or configuration so let's say whatever things you are creating let's say you are creating a plant you are creating a company code you are creating a let's say um, a purchasing organization so this will be the configuration right so let's say if you are doing any customization let's say you are uh, doing the let's say some modification some code changes some extra let's say release strategy you are configuring okay so those kind of things also you can move it through the transport request okay and uh, i believe you already know how to how the transport will work transport will work means how we work in the different systems let's say from the development system to the quality system to the production system how we are working we have already discussed that in the implementation project so you can go through those classes also to know more details on it okay so basically you can basically this is a transport request so through transport request we are sending the data we can say the configuration data the customization data we can send to one server to another server okay or one system to another system we can say okay so now let's understand how we can create a transport request so transport request either you can create it under ac09 or ac10 okay so this is from the gui you can create it and there is one more tool which is called as sap solution manager so this is also it is used for a lot of customer they are using at the time of let's say implementation process or in the support process also they are using this tool to create a transport request okay so basically you can hear this term while you are working in any project so there will be a solution manager or you can see there is a cham request will be there so cham request is nothing but it is a transport request so you have to create a transport request over there as per your uh, let's say um, configuration type let's say it is a customizing request or is a workbench request so as per that one you can create a request and uh, you can create a transport request in the solution manager okay so i don't have a solution manager right now so i will be showing you how to create a uh, transport request in sap gui itself i'll be showing you that so if anyone is having the solution manager so they can look for how uh, it is created under solution manager or I'll, I'll share some of the sample steps so I'll, I'll check the documents uh, means I'll be checking the uh, if I get the solution manager from there I'll be getting some screenshots for you and I'll be explaining how you can create a request in the solution manager okay this is how you can create now after creation how you can modify or how you can release a transport request same you can go to ac09 or ac10 there you can do the release release or modify you can do it from there how you can track it you can go to ac01 there you can track what are the status of the transport is it active or is it let's say progress or released or any kind of errors are there so we can check it over there so last thing there will be some errors will be there so in certain period of time let's say you are sending some of the transport but some uh, let's say some part of is 
it is not working or let's say you are getting some error so you have to look for what a kind of what kind of errors you are getting how you can find it you can find it from the logs okay so from the logs you can find it so this is basically the details of transport request so let's see it in the system itself okay so here so here you can see this is the t code of sc09 so same for sc10 also you can if you go to slash n sc10 also if you go it is the same screen okay sc09 and sc10 is the same screen so you can come here and you can create a request but most of you have not created it in sc09 or sc10 i believe directly whenever you are creating some of the configuration at that point of time a pop-up will come up like a transport request number so from there you have created right so it is the same way so if you click on create over here so it is ask it will ask you if it is a customizing request or a workbench request okay so mostly all of the configuration type of request we can do it under a customizing request let's say you are configuring some of the uh, devices or anything you can go for a workbench request okay so mostly we'll be going for a customizing request so click on that so now here you can see it is the same screen is showing like you see while the pop-up will come up and it will be asking you to create a transport request so here you can just put some description let's say test tr we can say test tr okay just save this one now it will create a transport number for you so this is a transport request number it is creating for you now you can share this transport request to let's say if you are working then you can use this transport request or let's say um, if you want to share it to someone you can also share this transport request and while they are creating some of the uh, configuration so they can use this transport request also let's say um, uh, let's say some basis people and, and let's understand uh, the working of this transport request okay so normally you see sometime what will happen this uh, uh, so, sometime functional people will create this transport request sometime as per your work okay as per your work settings let's say how your uh, work is defined as per that one let's say sometime the basis people will also create a transport request and they will share it to you you just have to use it while you are saving a let's say um, uh, data at that point of time when there is a transport request is there you have to put that transport request number this is one way second thing there will be in the cham it will be creating the transport request and that you can use there are certain other tools are also there which uh, are being used for certain clients so if you are having any custom tools for creating a transport request also that you can have it okay um, because in certain clients what will happen there will be certain let's say approval will be happening on this uh, uh, tr label okay so once someone is approving the tr only then it will be going okay so there will be certain steps will be there so for that one some uh, some clients they use some um, specific tools for the transport request but in SAP this is the standard way okay so this is how you can see the transport request you can um, uh, means you can copy the number and while you are using in uh, SAP uh, while you are creating any configuration in SAP you can just use it while save, saving the transaction okay so this is how you can create so how you can release it so we can again go to sc09 this is the same screen i'm just going uh, again to that okay so now you can just click um, uh, when you are inside the sc09 or sc10 you can just come here and you can just click on enter and it will show you all of the requests that is there okay so here you can see this is the all of the request that is there so whichever request you want to release it you have to just select this one and click on this truck button okay there is a truck button is there so you can just directly click on it okay so it will be releasing the request if everything is fine then it will be releasing the request i believe this request is already released or something like that uh, yeah 
so there will be a sub request will be there so first we need to release this one then we will be uh, then we will be releasing this main request okay so this is how we can release the request okay if you want to modify something also so here you can let's say you want to delete something or you want to modify something also you can do it from here okay so you can do it from here so here you can see all of the information that is related to this customizing task is there okay here we can see uh, movement type availability check goods movement purchasing value key so these are the things we have created under this request so if you want to change something you can change it from here also okay so once it is released from here okay once it is released from here the work of functional consultant is over okay so we don't have to do anything after releasing the request we just have to mail or send a email to the basis team that this request needs to be moved so what are the prerequisites are there we have already discussed them on the let's say in the uh, change request process in the implementation process we have already seen what are the things are there okay there will be certain approval will be there there will be certain let's say process will be there okay let's say if it is a um, implementation project so let's say your uh, uat must be done your sit must be done so everything needs to be done after that only you will be able to means once you are releasing your request then you can ask the base system that everything is done you can move it okay and there are certain other approvals also will be there so you have to look for it okay so this is how you can so if you want to modify you can just come here and you can see uh, this is the copy change moment type is there so you can just change something and save it and again it will modify the it will modify the data in the request number okay so that's it so now so here you can see transport organization organizer here you can find all of the transport request that is there okay uh, here you can see this is a workbench request this is the customizing request so these are the things are there okay so workbench request here you can see screen change we have done a screen change so that is coming under your workbench request and all of the configuration that we have done it is coming under your customizing request okay so now for your information purpose only i'm showing you this but here there is no work of a functional consultant stms is a t code is there okay transport management system so here actually you can come and here you can directly transport the request from one system to another system okay so this is a dummy server so this is not consistent so we cannot use this one okay so this is not configured you can see tms must be configured for client triple zero so there is no configuration is there that's why it is not it will not work but basically you can come here and it will show you the transports it will show you the transport number over here so you can select it and you can just click on release there will be a um, release button will be there so you can just click on that or export button will be there so you can just click on that and it will export the transport to the next system okay so this is what is all about the transport request so if you have any questions any doubt you can just ask it okay ask in the comment section if you want to know something more about the transport request but basically this will be your work in a transport request while you are creating transporting modifying the transport request this will be your work so that's it for today we'll meet up again on the next class till then bye bye and take care